Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put out a quick video for you guys, hopefully it'll help. Mm. So, still going along with the build, but we've been having a little bit of issues with this since the wife, as you can tell by the trailer there, has commandeered this to take some recyclables and trash down to the end of the driveway. We have about a 300 foot driveway, so. As soon as I got it running, she saw an opportunity. But the problem is, because the drive belt is shorter, you can no longer lock the brake down. And if you can't lock the brake down, I'm about a half inch short of locking it. And if I tighten it anymore, it'll keep moving even without it in gear. So, uh, with the brake not locked down, you can't get off the seat. It'll shut off because the seat safety is hooked to the brake. So, I think we're gonna look in here and I actually found a wire in here that you can disconnect. Not recommending this. Y'all do this at your own risk, but a little wire in here on the Murray that you can unplug that bypasses that seat safety, which in turn, you can get off of this thing without locking in the brake. And I'll bring y'all in and show y'all that. We'll go from there. So if you look under this gas tank behind the, mo the motor here, I trace down, you see this little yellow wire right here. I know it's hard to see. That yellow wire right there follows the red battery cable all the way down and it actually connects to the safety switch under the seat. So it's plugged in right there. I'll hand the phone over to my daughter Grace so she can film me and I'll show you what I mean by as soon as I pop the brake off, it'll, uh, it'll die if no one's sitting in the seat and then I'll disconnect it and I'll show y'all that it won't die anymore. So. Here you go, Grace. So, we push in the brake. Fire off, no one's sitting on it. it. Dies. So, let's go back in. And then, it's just a little clip. And just pull it off, there's the end. All right, watch out, Rev. Okay, there you go, Grace. There you go, guys. Uh, like I said, don't recommend doing that. I'm doing this because I don't have the deck on for one. That's mainly a safety, so the motor don't take off while you're riding, while you're off of it. And you don't want it coming on when the deck's spinning. But as you can see, took the deck off for the train ride, which is still happening. Uh, just wife started using it, so I decided to make this video because we've been having a few problems with it dying when she's going down to take the garbage out. And if I'm doing the train ride with the kids, I'll be getting them on and off of it, and I don't want to be messing with that seat safety. So not recommending it, but if anyone's having this problem or the seat safety's failing on you and you need a mow, this will help. So see y'all in the next one.